first of all to install anaconda distribution platform open up your google browser and once you open your google browser type anaconda.com and you are into the official uh, website of anaconda and you can see something called as free download click this free download and you are now into the official website of anaconda distribution platform so what is this anaconda distribution platform uh, it is a popular open source data science machine learning and scientific computing platform primarily used for working with python and r language and it is one of the best platform to perform data science analytical or machine learning projects and on the right hand side you can see something called as skip registration click this skip registration and now if you scroll down you can see something called as distribution installers and miniconda installers you need to download under distribution installers i'm going to demonstrate in this video for uh, the anaconda distribution platform for windows os it is also available for multiple os such as mac and linux if you scroll down you can see it is readily available in 64 bit graphical installer which in python 3.12 version and similarly for mac as well as linux you can collapse this and now so this is the uh, official installer for windows for the anaconda distribution platform so you can click this and the software starts downloading so i have this software ready available in my system so i am going to my downloads and you can see this anaconda distribution platform is being downloaded open up this and once you open uh, this is the first uh, page pops up click next uh, agree to the terms and conditions and license agreement next next and yeah so I have already this uh, platform in my system so uh, so I cannot able to re-download it so after this you can just uh, click a series of next buttons and finally click the install button accordingly and after that you can launch your anaconda distribution platform so I'm closing this and now I have this anaconda navigator and the anaconda prompt available in my system I'm going to open up this anaconda navigator and now this is the anaconda GUI which is a graphical user interface application where we can manage the applications within anaconda without the usage of commands so you can see that uh, these are the different uh, plugins available in this anaconda navigator and this is the environment let us close this and under environments you can see that you are in the base root uh, this should be under the base and you can see uh, several series of installations have been done on default and go to the home and you can see that several tools and several plugins are available for your work and here you can see something called as jupyter notebook so what is this jupyter notebook jupyter notebook is something that it is an open source web-based interactive computing environment that allows you to create and share documents that contain live code equations and visualizations and also explanatory text it is supported for multiple programming language mainly for python and mainly for our data science machine learning projects and similarly you can launch this jupyter notebook and before that i'll also uh, tell you that you also something have anaconda prompt so what is this anaconda prompt anaconda prompt is a command line interface it is a cli uh, that allows you to manage your environments and packages within anaconda so opening up your jupyter application which is needed for our projects you can do it in uh, multiple ways the first way is i am going to launch via this anaconda navigator so i am going to come here and click this launch
and now my Jupyter notebook is opened. So this is the uh, interface for your Jupyter notebook and now you can create your Jupyter notebook for your coding work. And for creating a new Jupyter notebook, you can see something called as new and click Python. A new Jupyter notebook will be opening up shortly. And yeah, so this is your a new Jupyter notebook. And you can see this, this gives a good look and feel. And this is your coding workspace. And I'm just typing something to print. And you can see that the code has been executed. And uh, here, once you see here, you can have three drop downs code, markdown, and raw. Uh, while you are executing your code, which is executables, it should be in the coding option. And if you're writing something which is a plain text, it can be either in markdown or raw. And this is your kernel which is being connected and the notebook is trusted and also you can also uh, save your notebook with the control s or you can also do with an option here on the left hand side so this is how it gives a good uh, look and feel for your jupyter notebook and the other option is like uh, you can also launch your jupyter notebook via command line interface uh, via this uh, jupyter prompt the anaconda prompt so I'm closing this so for this type anaconda prompt and type the command Jupyter notebook and click enter The commands are executing and now you can see that the same Jupyter application gets opened up and now you can start your as usual your coding in your Python environment. For creating a new notebook, you can just go to your new and click Python. A new notebook will be created. And now it is ready for your coding workspace. I'm just closing it down. So this is all about uh, the Jupyter notebook, uh, which is a uh, main uh, environment for your projects.